contract changes coming into effect from 1 September 2023 for minimum housing standards. It is important to understand how your rights and obligations will change. The RTA will have more education and resources available soon to help everyone navigate the new rental law changes at rta.qld.gov.au. Queensland Tenancy Laws, the Residential Tenancies and Roomy Accommodation Act 2008, Section 17A states a prescribed minimum housing standard means a standard prescribed by regulation. With changes implemented under the Housing Legislation Amendment Act 2021, Schedule 5A was introduced outlining minimum housing standards, and I'll go through that with you shortly. This does impact residential tenancies, as well as movable dwelling park facilities and roomy accommodation. Minimum housing standards will commence from 1 September 2023 for new tenancies and from 1 September 2024 for all tenancies. Rental properties need to be safe, secure and have reasonable functionality. So let's step through what safe and secure means. Firstly, weatherproof and structurally sound. The roof and windows need to prevent water entering. The floors, walls, ceilings, roof, deck or stairs are not likely to collapse due to rot or defect. A supporting structure is not affected by significant dampness and the property condition is not likely to cause damage to the occupant's personal possessions. Fixtures and fittings for the premises are in good repair and not likely to cause injury. The property needs to be free of vermin, damp and mould. This obligation does not apply if the vermin, damp or mould is caused by the tenant. The premises must have a functioning lock or latch fitted to all external windows and doors to secure the premises against unauthorised entry. Windows in all rooms, which the tenant reasonably expects privacy, so, such as a bedroom, require privacy coverings. This could be a curtain, blind, tinting or glass frosting. This does not apply if the window is obstructed by a fence, hedge, tree or other feature. Now we look at reasonable functionality. The premises must have adequate plumbing and drainage for the number of persons occupying the premises and be connected to a water supply service or infrastructure supplying hot and cold water suitable for drinking. The bathroom and toilet facilities must provide privacy and function as design. They must be connected to a sewer, septic or other waste disposal system. For kitchens and laundries, if included, the kitchen must have a functioning cooktop and the laundry must include fixtures required to provide a functional laundry. The tenancy law changes were implemented in a staged approach. So for more information on domestic and family violence provisions or the changes from 1 October 2022 for reasons to end a tenancy, framework to negotiate renting with a pet, repair orders and other amendments, please visit the RTA's website for more information at rta.qld.gov.au. To support minimum housing standards, the existing law allows the tenant to end the tenancy within the first seven days of occupancy if the premises or inclusions are not fit to live in, not in good repair, or do not comply with the minimum housing standards. This does not apply to circumstances caused by the tenant. From 1 October, tenants now have seven days to complete, sign and return a copy of the entry condition report at the start of the tenancy. Costs of emergency repairs increase from two weeks to four weeks equivalent. Property managers can also authorise an emergency repair on behalf of an owner client up to four weeks rent equivalent before dispersing the funds. And a nominator repairer must be listed on the tenancy agreement. Section 214 of the Act outlines the meaning of an emergency repair and will include works needed to comply with minimum housing standards. Repair orders add an additional pathway for tenants to have repairs carried out. These are orders issued by the Queensland Civil and Administrative Tribunal and a copy will be sent to the RTA. The Tribunal will consider conduct of the owner or manager, risk of injury or loss of amenity. They can make an order on what repair needs to be done 
and by when and who a reduction in rent until repairs are done or compensation or that the agreement ends if the repairs are not carried out by a certain date. It is an offence to contravene a repair order and penalty provisions do apply. The property manager or owner needs to disclose any outstanding repair orders on the tenancy agreement to prospective tenants. More information regarding repair orders and the process can be found on the RTA's website. To help navigate the introduction of minimum housing standards, the RTA will have more information and various resources available soon on the RTA's website, rta.qld.gov.au.